Would I be the asshole for not building a ramp to our house for disabled nephew? My wife and I recently bought a new house. After we closed on the house my sister came to see it and asked when we would like her husband to install a ramp. The ramp is for her son, who is in a wheelchair. He and other nieces and nephew used to come over to our old house all the time to hang out with our kids. My sister husband, who works in construction, previously installed a ramp in our old house as well as my brother's house because he and my sister want their son to feel welcome in everyone's home. Our previous house was very standard and installing a ramp was easy. This new house however sits up high which means it needs a very long ramp. After measuring according to specifications we've realized that we cannot install a ramp unless we get rid of some of our home's features. Our front yard is a tiered garden. It is my wife's favorite feature as she is an avid gardener. We probably would not have bought this house if not for the garden as we had our eye on another. If we built a ramp leading to the front door it would cover the majority of the tiered garden. The only other option is the side door we do not have a back door. The side door however leads directly into the driveway that goes up alongside the house to the garage in the back. If we built a ramp in this area it would make the driveway too narrow for many of our vehicles. We have very limited parking on our street so we would basically lose half our driveway parking. I also wouldn't be able to get my old muscle car in the garage where I had planned on storing it. I've explained this to my sister and she is unhappy about our reasonings. Especially the one for the front door. She says she gets the parking problem, but the garden is just a cosmetic thing and not worth making her son feel unwanted or like a second thought. Other family is also unhappy because now our house is unusable for family parties since nephew won't be able to come. We do family parties on a rotating system between me and my brother since we're the only ones with big enough homes. I said we could do the family parties out in the backyard in the summer. It's big and has a lot of trees and a large canopy area where we can put some nice outside furniture and barbecue. The garage also has a bathroom that is accessible, so it shouldn't be a problem for nephew to come so long as everyone hangs out outside. They think it's unreasonable because it will be too hot to stay outside the whole time and people will need air conditioning. If they go inside to cool down nephew will feel left out. My brother also doesn't like that the burden is now on him to always host. Especially since he will always have to host for Thanksgiving and Christmas which are the most hectic holidays. What about a temporary ramp? You can build or buy one that can be stored. I'd how big a space you need the ramp for. If your bill works in construction, Maybe he can build a temporary ramp that can be assembled and disassembled remotely quickly for get-togethers. Maybe it could be designed for the side door so the garden doesn't get trampled. Don't give up on a solution for both families. Info if Bill is a carpenter and experienced rampman, could he devise a temporary ramp that could be used for the side door when you're having a get-together, but folded and put away or turned into some sort of garden art at other times? If it is this important, and it seems that it is, then have the whole extended family pitch in financially to install a lift at the side entrance. You are talking about approximately $4,000. Portable removable ramps are available on Amazon. We used them to get my mom in and out of the house after she broke her femur. They worked quite well. Nah. And there's plenty of room for compromise when it's your turn to host, rent an accessible venue. Doesn't have to break the bank, it can be as simple as an Airbnb. Are your sister and Bill offering to pay to add a new entry in the back? Or to build a ramp that goes alongside your driveway rather than taking up half of it? Or are they just telling you that they expect you to give up certain use and enjoyment of your new home for their family's benefit? I get that their feelings are hurt that their needs weren't a primary factor in your new house purchase, but that seems very entitled to me. Buy or build a folding ramp that will work for the side door. We got a nice metal one when my aunt had a stroke and was in a wheelchair. It folded up nicely and stored away in a corner of the garage. Or construction bill might be able to build a custom one. What about looking into installing a wheelchair lift? 
It won't be cheap but you will be able to just use it at the front door push. It could be easier for bringing groceries especially if you use a wagon. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. It's your home not theirs. Yeah it sucks the nephew is handicapped but why should you have to get rid of garden you specifically chose the house for or block your parking. They didn't pay for the house and they don't live there. If they really want to visit they can figure something out. Is it possible to make a removable ramp that you can put out when your nephew comes? Not the asshole. You love your new home and you love your nephew. But he isn't your child, and not every home can be compatible with wheelchair use. Your sister loves her son and wants him to be involved. But she can't expect you to tear up your lawn and do extensive remodeling. If family are really jumping down your throat, everyone can pitch in to buy a portable ramp like another commenter suggested. If this is everyone's problem, it can be everyone's solution. Edit typo on my judgment. Nata, there are lots of options for portable ramps. Saying as a wheelchair user. Not the asshole. I don't know anyone who takes extended family into consideration when purchasing a home. I don't see how you could be expected to destroy a major selling point of the home because of an occasional visitor. Maybe you could see if an outdoor wheelchair lift, also known as a vertical platform lift VPL might work. This is a tough one so I'll say not the asshole but man, I genuinely hope the nephew isn't hearing a word of this. I'd be heartbroken to know my disability is causing so much drama for the family. Nobody wants to feel like a burden. Can you guys maybe change what seasons you host? Maybe you host when the weather is nice out or something? Again, not the asshole but this story just made me really sad. Will any portable ramps work? I know they get tricky depending on the number of steps. I hate for a family member to be left out but you're not the asshole. If Bill is handy and in construction can a door be installed in the back with a smaller ramp? Just throwing out ideas. You already weren't TA, but your responses to everyone's suggestions show that you're working to find a solution and it warms my heart so much. Not the asshole at all. Info you can buy temporary ramps. Why does it have to be a permanent installation? You're missing the obvious opportunity here. This is the perfect excuse to buy a forklift. You could have Bill build a platform for its own nephew could ride up and down safely and it would be available if you need to lift something heavy like an engine or forklift parts. Not the asshole. The audacity. Should they have been involved in your house hunt then and chipped in then? Unfair that this is always on you and your brother to host let's do it at their place since it must be accessible or just get together and rent a place for must do holidays. A temporary ramp for the side door that can be stored when not in use. Ours was three pieces when disassembled. This is what we did. We had a friend who was a welder make it, 